there was a very special announcement today. Uh, well, a couple of days ago. I missed the original announcement, but regardless, I'm sure most of you are familiar with the website Raider.io. If so, great. If not, basically, it's a nice one-stop shop for everything related to WoW PvE. It tracks players' IO score, raid progression, recruitments, does news and spotlights, along with a featured section for streamers. I pretty much live on this site. Now, their big announcement was actually their newest feature, the Auto Route Creator. Being the super nerd that I am, I just had to check it out. In this video, I want to break down everything that I've discovered so far and show you lovely people how game-changing this feature is for both new tanks and veteran dungeon delvers. Let's take a walk. So what is the Auto Route Creator and how does it work? Well, let me explain. This is a feature that is currently in closed beta, meaning a few things. First, there are still some kinks or bugs that I'm pretty sure they're going to attempt to cover over the course of the testing period, as that is the purpose of beta testing. Second, since it is a closed beta, there isn't a usual opt-in process that you may see with other beta testings. Basically, it's currently being offered to Patreon supporters on the Raider.io website. Luckily for you folks, I support them on Patreon, so I can show off this feature to all of you. If you want to support Raider.io and the work that they do, I'll leave their information in the description of the video. Anyways, Raider.io has been working alongside another titan of the WoW community, Keystone Guru. Similar to the popular add-on Mythic Dungeon Tools, Keystone Guru is a website that functions as a mapping source for Keystone enthusiasts. Here you can create routes, import and export routes, along with explore other public routes on their site. Coming back full circle now, the new auto route creator function is a brand new collaboration between these two, both Raider.io and Keystone Guru. In their latest press release, Raider.io has announced its acquisition of Keystone Guru, and this was finalized actually this past Friday. This all around is great news for the WoW community. And all right, I'm intrigued. The auto route creator is exactly what it sounds like. Well, sort of. This function ultimately is going to be available on the Raider.io website, but there are a few caveats with the route creator. Before I explain, I need to quickly blast a key for myself. I could have just searched for a router run, but honestly, I need the vault key. Any run starting back on July 22nd and moving forward that was recorded with the Raider.io live tracker will now have an additional option when looking at the detail page on their website. I'm not going to really spend time talking about how to set up the live tracker because I've covered it in a past video. If you want to know how to get Raider.io live tracking set up on your desktop, check out that video here. It'll be in the description as well. It's free to do so as long as you have a Raider.io account, which is also free. Sounds like I'm pitching for them. Now that we've completed this run, let's jump over to Raider.io and explore this new feature. <laughs> Ignore my low IO score. I'm a washed up old man. Anyways, we can scroll down to our keys that were recently ran. We'll drop down the underrot tab and near the top, you can see this view route. If you click this, it'll pop up the Keystone Guru, uh, what would you call this, like section? Plugin? Eh, doesn't matter. It's right here. With the drop down, you can actually see the different sections or floors of the run. This isn't super useful in Underrot since everything is pretty much on the same level besides the last boss, but it's great nonetheless. We can also open up this route directly in Keystone Guru, or better yet, copy and import the string into the game. Now, let's take a look at the accuracy of this run. Right away, the first thing that I notice is that unless you completely drop combat, it assumes all mobs pulled will be deemed as one pull, which can be slightly problematic. For example, on the second pull of this run, I pulled this patrol that's on the bridge by itself. And once most of the mobs were dead outside of the matron, I pulled the next pack, which is the spirit, priest, and hunters, which the route creator thought was just one large pull. So this can be slightly misleading. Now. This is even more noticeable in Kragma's room, where I didn't stop chain pulling until all the mobs in the room were cleared. So it's saying that this is one large pull. This can be slightly problematic for players who are trying to research routes because there is a lack of distinction. Luckily, this is the beta, and it seems that they're working on several ways to distinguish the difference between these instances, per Ja, who is the admin of Raider.io. If they can properly figure out a way to troubleshoot this, I think this tool is going to be absolutely amazing. All right, so one has to ask, how is this useful? Is this actually going to benefit players? I see this tool as having two or three main functions. First and foremost, sweaty key pushers will now have access to routes of other players who may be ahead of them in IO or a competitor on the leaderboard. It's another great source of information to optimize dungeon routing or to explore alternative routes. 
Second, I think this is going to be great for new tanks who might just be unsure where to start. This tool can help create a nice template for beginners to help remove some of that anxiety when it comes to routing dungeons. Just a side note, something that I really like about this feature is the ability to have Keystone Guru up on another monitor compared to having MDT, which is a function in-game and it's pretty difficult to play with MDT pulled up. And now third, and admittedly pretty specific, but I think this feature creates a nice catalog of previous runs. It'll be interesting to be able to look back at maybe a burnt key or even on the other end a three-chested key and observe the changes in the route. It'll be interesting in future seasons. It's kind of awkward now because we're pretty deep into this season already, but I'm eager to have this catalog as a player and as someone who just loves data. And just like my mom, I'm going to force my opinion down your throat. I guess we'll just call this constructive criticism. Until they fix how these poles and chains are distinguished, I'm going to actually have to classify this feature more as eye candy, I guess. Raider IO is kind of working against itself here as well. Now, I'm not a new player, but I'm trying to put myself in their shoes here. On the main page of Raider IO, they display typically all of the top players in the world, not the casuals. So if I were to click on Nerf Bear, for example, the way that his group is going to run a 30 key will be drastically different from your plus 5 freehold. Now, luckily Raider.io has this little tab here called Routes and Guides, which does exactly what it says. It gives routes in a similar fashion that you would see on a player's individual page. Just a random thought, it'd be really cool if they were able to somehow process all of these routes recorded with the live tracking feature and then rank certain routes based on popularity. Maybe similar to the season recap that they do at the end of every season. I don't know. I'd be interested in seeing if there was data for the most common route for each dungeon. I don't know if I explained that well, but I'm just a huge nerd for data. In their press release, they mentioned that both parties are extremely excited for the prospect to grow both Raider.io and the Keystone Guru applications even further. And I'm stoked to see what the future holds. Long story short, I think this feature is good, and it'll become great if they can fix that major complaint of distinguishing polls. The newest partnership of Raider.io and Keystone Guru is only ever pushing the accessibility of Mythic Plus further by enhancing its tools and data available to players. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this feature down below. Leave a like, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.